Hello, form BX257 here again. Uh, sorry, I have to split up the um, figure reviews, but I was running over a little bit, so I'll give you Zarkan. I wasn't planning on doing it here, but uh, here he is. I'll do a much more detailed uh, review on Zarkan just by himself if anybody wants. Well, on to the rest of the figures. Next we have Spirit in Canada. Spirit came in two different versions. The original version in 1984, he was called Shaman, which actually makes a bit more sense than in the way he's described on this file card. And later they corrected it to Spirit, so he's more like his American counterpart. Spirit himself came with a uh, belt. I believe that's called a breech claw. It's not mentioned on his uh, on his card. That's one of his accessories. It's just there. He came with his rifle, rather large backpack, as well as an eagle, whose name is again not mentioned on his card because of the little feet, so he could hook onto his wrist. Next we have Firefly, he comes with this machine gun and walkie-talkie. The walkie-talkie is a very easy to lose uh, uh, accessory, it's very small I suppose. And he comes with a backpack which has a removable tube panel. Both the insides of the uh, gap there and the tube panel itself has molding on it. Rather a lot like Destro's Tattache case. Next we have Storm Shadow. It comes with a, uh, I guess you call that a pair of nunchucks, or just nunchucks, nunchako, however you pronounce that. It comes with a uh, backpack quiver which holds small knife, his sword, his um, bow, if I can get this off here, very tiny fragile bow, and the backpack itself, quiver I should say, actually opens to show you detail of the arrows. And finally we have the Baroness with her rather large uh, rifle and her uh, Cobra style backpack. Scrap iron which comes with one of the biggest accessories up till then. It comes with this pistol and came with a uh, rocket launcher with two rubber rubbery lock rock, uh, rockets comes with a stand that you had to put together. It came in like uh, four pieces, and of course the remote detonator cord. And finally, we have the Malian Cobra Commander. He's the uh, I guess the longest running mail-in figure it was first available in 1984 and was actually last available in 1994. Just like the first version of Cobra Commander, he has a plug-in pistol. Uh, just to elaborate a little bit more on this guy. here. I'm not sure if all figures are marked this way, but this is actually marked uh, made in Hong Kong. I'm pretty sure 
most figures will actually be marked in, made in China now. Um, one, you, you do have to be a bit careful with even mint in bag uh, versions of this figure because the gold actually rubs off even within the bag. So, uh, and it's a very hard figure to get mint, but it's still rather affordable. There's a more of a close up of the file card. And that was a review of the 11 uh, loose figures and the one mail figure. I'll be reviewing the boxed vehicles and play sets after this. Thank you for viewing.